Hey, Nick. Yo, Nick. Nick. Yo, yo, yo. Hey there, sorry. So many deals coming in, my desk can't handle the weight anymore, so I had to mod it a little bit so it could handle all of 2023's deals. I feel you, Nick. I feel you. How are you doing today? Yeah, it's going. I have this client, man. Tell me about it. I know how they can be. Nick, I need you. What's up? Here's the thing, right? I have a client. They want to send annual contracts, but they want to have quarterly deals. Um, give me a little bit more background on business. Small, medium, large, what are we talking about? They, their ICP is mid-market. They have contracts. They're, they're a manufacturing firm, and so they have contracts for the whole year for the people that they're producing these products for. Basically, that annual contract is then broken down into like quarterly commitments. And then some of them get billed annually, but some other ones get billed monthly. And so I don't know, man, like nothing's matching up. Like, are we doing annual? Are we doing weekly? Are we doing monthly? What is it? What is it that they actually want? Did I hear you say monthly too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So billing could be annual or monthly. Contract is annual. And then they want quarterly deals. And so this is what like, it just... It drives me crazy because the request is so specific that I can't really understand the why behind it. Like, where are you even recognizing revenue? Is it on the year? Is it on the month? Like, what do you really need to know here, sir? They're making somebody sign this full contract? Yeah, yeah, it's signed. And they need a deal for that contract, too. Are they making the prospects sign these each time, too? Yeah, they sent like a quote that needs to be signed. Logistically speaking, that sounds like a lot of administrative work. <laughs> now, if there is no signing, if there's no human action needed for it, I could see there being some benefit for a roll up, right? Like you could set the system up to just send that out automatically. But if they're looking for signatures and they're looking for eyes on each one and, and managing all of these, that gets pretty sloppy. I just don't know, Nick. I mean, here's what I would say. If the problem is that you want to recognize revenue whenever you're actually getting payment or sending out your invoice, then that is done through a line item, billing frequency, or a property within the deal that tells you when you're recognizing revenue. Correct. So that just stores it and rolls it up and we can just see that is 12 payments with its total value here. Also, because if they have this annual deal and then they have these quarterly deals, they're not even going to roll up into the annual deal. Each like other. You can't, yeah. you can't associate a deal to another deal. And so you really do need to do this either through the service or a custom object so you can then say, oh, this is the quarterly check-in for my annual contract. You're the best. And those 12 individual monthly bills, like each month if we're sending them, right? That automatically will roll up to a quarterly view because you can view it that way, right? So if you need to yeah. look at grain, like you can see not only the quarter, but then also see the breakdown of that quarter within it. If I was their customer, I'd be annoyed. I'd be like, hey, I signed the annual. Yeah. I pay it every <laughs> single month. Why do you need me to do this quarter? Also because like, you think about this, like your point person is always the person signing. And so I have to roll this up again to my CEO. And like, right. what is that? No, 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 no. I think right. I'm going to do it. I'm going to tell my client I know better and I know the solution and it's not what he wants. Love it. Now, if he comes in and there is a, uh, but you have the backup talk. The backup track is we can add it, agree it, but still it would be a sloppy process to try to shove it all in one. It's like we can take care of this in an alternative way. So we're not just ignoring the fact that they might want the quarterly one. Placing it where it's actually useful, actually needed, and it's going to provide the value. I'll do pros and cons. Yeah, for sure. Hopefully they take the recommendation. Yeah, sometimes they can be stubborn, but uh, they, can they just let me do my thing? All right, I think my desk is about to fall apart. So if you don't mind, I'm going to get back to it. Did I give you enough insight for this call? All good. Thanks, Nick. Bye, Diana. Peace. Talk to you later.